The Chinese government is terrified of the possibility of the Philippines becomes a formidable military force. The Philippines and Chinese relations are at an all-time low, and China is increasingly concerned about a land-based U.S. missile launcher stationed in the Philippines, which was recently used during military drills. Beijing worries that if this missile system, known as the Typhon launcher, is deployed permanently, it could significantly shift the power balance in the region. Chinese diplomats in Washington have been seeking more information on the Typhon launcher, which was placed on the northern island of Luzon in the Philippines four months ago as part of these drills. A Chinese diplomat, speaking anonymously, noted that the missile launcher's extended stay in the Indo-Pacific, which is unusually long for a military exercise, is alarming Beijing. This deployment marks the first time the U.S. has stationed ground-based missiles in a foreign country since withdrawing from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty in August 2019. The future deployment of the Typhon missile launcher after the 2024 U.S.-Philippines bilateral exercises in Luzon remains uncertain. During a recent 2 plus 2 meeting between the foreign and defense ministers of the U.S. and Japan, the two sides agreed to increase their military presence in Japan's southwest islands. This has raised concerns in China that these mid-range missiles could also be deployed in Japan, in addition to those already placed in northern Philippines. The deployment of these missiles has become a point of tension between Washington and Beijing, even as the two countries have tried to stabilize their relationship following a meeting between U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping in San Francisco in November. A Chinese defense official likened the deployment of these missiles to bringing a weapon to a diplomatic meeting intended to improve relations. The armed forces of the Philippines have indicated that they expect the Typhon launcher to be removed from the country by September at the latest. However, local media reports suggest that this stay could be extended. Lu Punu, minister counselor and spokesperson for the Chinese embassy in Washington, reiterated China's strong opposition to the U.S. deploying medium-range ballistic missiles in the Asia-Pacific region, accusing the U.S. of seeking unilateral military advantage. He urged the Philippines to quickly remove the missile system as previously pledged. By allowing the U.S. to deploy this missile system on its soil, the Philippines is, according to Chinese officials, enabling an external power to exacerbate regional tensions and foster geopolitical confrontation, potentially sparking an arms race. The Typhon launcher is capable of launching two types of missiles, the Tomahawk cruise missile, with an estimated range of more than 1,600 kilometers, and another type not specified in the summary. China's concerns about the Typhon missile launcher highlight the broader geopolitical tensions in the Asia-Pacific region, with the U.S. and its allies on one side and China on the other. The situation remains fluid, with potential implications for the balance of power and regional stability. The standard missile 6, SM-6, is a versatile interceptor with a range of up to 370 kilometers, while the Tomahawk missiles, which can also be deployed from the same system, have the capability to reach the Chinese mainland from the Philippines. These missiles can target ships and potentially disrupt China's air defense systems in the early stages of any potential conflict in the Taiwan Strait, thereby allowing the U.S. Navy to deploy large warships afterward. The missile launcher was transported to the Philippines via a 15-hour flight from the U.S. Army's first multi-domain task force stationed at Joint Base lewis mccord in Washington state. This marks the first deployment of elements from this new U.S. Army unit, which specializes in operating long-range precision weapons, to the Indo-Pacific region. The Army has established similar multi-domain task forces in Washington state, Germany, and Hawaii, but has yet to secure a permanent base for this unit in the Indo-Pacific. China is particularly concerned about the strategic implications of these mid-range capabilities. Thomas Carrico, the director of the Missile Defense Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, noted that these mobile, long-range strike launchers, which can threaten surface targets, should serve as a deterrent to potential aggression in the region. Caraco also suggested that more such launchers should be deployed to reinforce this deterrence. In response to the potential deployment of mid-range missiles to Japan, China reiterated its commitment to peace and prosperity in the Asia-Pacific region, emphasizing that the region does not need such missiles or the resulting confrontations. Since the signing of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces, INF, 
treaty with the Soviet Union in 1987, the U.S. had eliminated all of its mid-range and intermediate-range missiles. Meanwhile, China, which was not a signatory to the treaty, has built up a stockpile of over 2,000 such missiles, thereby gaining a regional advantage over the United States. The U.S. is now attempting to catch up, as evidenced by the Army's fiscal year 2025 budget proposal, which includes plans to purchase more than 330 of the latest Block V variant of the Tomahawk cruise missile for its mid-range capability batteries over the next five years. For the first time, the U.S. Army has deployed a mid-range capacity land attack and surface-to-air missile defense system to the Philippines as part of its 2024 military bilateral exercise. This deployment includes the medium-range capability, MRC weapon system, a land-based adaptation of a naval weapon system, which has already been positioned in the northern Philippines near Taiwan. The MRC system, also known as the Typhon weapon system, can provide a land attack range of up to 2,500 kilometers and engage targets at altitudes of up to 108,000 feet. This significant enhancement in U.S. military capability in the region comes at a time when China has been asserting a more aggressive posture in the Indo-Pacific. The U.S. Army's new ground-based launcher, which can support Tomahawk cruise missiles and SM-6 interceptors, is making its debut in the Indo-Pacific with this deployment. The system, designed by Lockheed Martin, integrates the Naval MK-41 vertical launch system into a land-based platform, providing a significant boost to U.S. military capabilities in a region of growing strategic importance. The Typhon missile launcher system, adapted for land-based operations, is a critical part of the U.S. Army's new multi-domain task forces, which were established to address the complex and varied threats posed by Russia and China. Each Typhon battery consists of four launchers, a command center, and associated logistical vehicles. These components are assigned to the task force's Strategic Fires Battalion, which also includes high-mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS, and Dark Eagle hypersonic missile batteries. The strategic placement of the Typhon system in northern Luzon, along the first island chain that separates mainland Asia from the open Pacific, is of significant geopolitical importance. This location allows the system to cover not only the entire Luzon Strait, but also reach the Chinese coast and various People's Liberation Army PLA bases in the South China Sea. The deployment of the medium-range capability MRC missile system aims to enhance the Philippines' maritime defense capabilities while also strengthening interoperability and readiness within the U.S.-Philippine alliance. Some have questioned the relevance of the Typhon system, which is primarily a land-based asset in the predominantly maritime and air domain of the Indo-Pacific region. However, the U.S. Army has emphasized that Typhon provides a credible land-based maritime strike capability, complementing the efforts of other military branches such as the Marine Corps and Navy. This was highlighted by U.S. Army officials during the activation ceremony of a second Typhon battery earlier in the year. In addition to the U.S. deployment, the Philippines has been actively bolstering its defense capabilities through various modernization efforts. In 2019, the Philippines' Department of National Defense signed a deal with Israel's Ministry of Defense and the manufacturer Rafael Advanced Defense Systems for three batteries of the Spider Air Defense System, valued at 6.8 billion pesos. This agreement is part of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP Modernization Program's Horizon 2. The first two missile batteries were delivered in September 2023, with the third expected to arrive this year. The Spider Air Defense System is designed to protect critical installations, land-based fixed assets, mobile platforms, and friendly forces from a wide range of aerial threats, including combat aircraft, attack helicopters, drones, incoming missiles, guided munitions, and rockets. As tensions continue to rise in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait, the Philippines is actively enhancing its defense and monitoring capabilities across land, sea, and air. These efforts are crucial as Manila prepares to defend its territories amid ongoing geopolitical tensions in the West Philippine Sea and potential spillovers from conflicts in the Taiwan Strait. The deployment of the U.S. mid-range capability missile launcher system in northern Philippines, which includes the ability to fire various missiles, such as the SM-6 supersonic missile with a range of about 450 kilometers, represents a substantial boost to the region's defense posture. This deployment is part of a broader strategy 
to ensure that the Philippines is better equipped to defend its sovereignty and contribute to regional stability in the face of growing threats and uncertainties. The integration of the Typhon missile system into the U.S.-Philippine defense framework and the acquisition of advanced air defense systems like the Spider reflect a concerted effort to strengthen the Philippines' military capabilities. These developments are critical as the region navigates an increasingly complex security environment marked by rising tensions in key strategic areas such as the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. The Philippines' military capabilities have seen significant upgrades with the recent addition of advanced missile systems, including the Tomahawk cruise missile and the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. The Tomahawk, with a maximum range of 2,500 kiloradii, and the BrahMos, capable of reaching targets between 290 kilometers and 400 kilometers, represent the latest advancements in the Philippines' defense strategy. The BrahMos, developed through a collaboration between India and Russia, is the world's fastest supersonic anti-ship missile, traveling at speeds approximately three times the speed of sound. These missiles can be launched from various platforms, including submarines, ships, aircraft, and land-based systems. These missile systems, along with the previously integrated Spider surface-to-air missile system in the Philippine Air Force, significantly bolster the country's defensive capabilities. The Spider system, developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, utilizes Python 5 and Darby missiles to counter a wide range of aerial threats. The mobility and advanced detection technologies of these systems make them crucial components of the Philippines' defense strategy, enhancing the country's ability to respond to potential threats. The deployment of these ground-based missile systems in the Indo-Pacific region marks a critical development in the ongoing strategic competition in Asia. In a scenario where a Chinese amphibious fleet might attempt to anchor off Taiwan or station in the South China Sea, the Tomahawk and BrahMos missiles could play a vital role in targeting and potentially neutralizing such threats. Analysts suggest that the presence of these missile systems will complicate China's ability to maintain regional dominance as they provide a counterbalance to China's superior naval capabilities. The U.S. deployment of medium-range missiles to the Philippines, in conjunction with the procurement of BrahMos and Spider systems by the Philippine military, is a significant step in countering China's regional advantage. This deployment not only enhances the interoperability and readiness of the Philippine Armed Forces, but also strengthens the country's defense posture in coordination with its allies, particularly the United States. The arrival of the BrahMos missile system in the Philippines is a landmark event, making the country the third Southeast Asian nation to acquire this advanced technology. The BrahMos missile, a two-stage supersonic cruise missile, operates on the fire-and-forget principle, meaning once launched, it autonomously seeks and destroys its target without further input. It achieves its supersonic speed through a combination of a solid propellant booster engine and a liquid-fueled ramjet engine, reaching speeds of up to Mach 3. The missile's range, which varies from 290 km to 400 km, allows it to engage targets at a significant distance, providing a strategic advantage in both offensive and defensive operations. The Bramo system's destructive power is further enhanced by its ability to carry a 300-kilo semi-armor-piercing warhead capable of penetrating heavily fortified targets. Its cruising altitude can reach up to 15 kilometers, with a terminal altitude as low as 5 meters allowing it to evade enemy defenses and strike with precision. This combination of speed, range, and destructive capability makes the BrahMos a formidable addition to the Philippines' military arsenal, significantly boosting the country's ability to defend its territory and maintain regional stability. The integration of the Tomahawk and BrahMos missile systems into the Philippines' defense strategy represents a substantial enhancement of the country's military capabilities. These systems provide a powerful deterrent against potential threats and contribute to the broader security architecture in the Indo-Pacific region, ensuring that the Philippines is well prepared to defend its sovereignty and contribute to regional peace and stability. The BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, known for its unparalleled speed and destructive capability, serves as a powerful deterrent against any attempts to undermine Philippine sovereignty, particularly in the contested waters of the West Philippine Sea. Capable of inflicting severe damage even on the toughest ship hulls, these missiles are a critical addition to the Philippines' defense arsenal. 
In a significant move, the U.S. Army has deployed a mid-range land attack and surface-to-air missile defense system to the Philippines as part of the 2024 bilateral military exercise. This deployment, which took place in early April in northern Luzon, is a substantial boost to the region's defense capabilities, particularly in response to China's growing military presence. The system, supported by the U.S. Air Force's 62 airlift wing from Joint Base Lewis McCord, includes a ground-based launcher capable of deploying Tomahawk cruise missiles and SM-6 interceptors. The deployment marks the first appearance of the U.S. Army's new ground-based missile system, known as the Typhon Weapon System, in the Indo-Pacific region. This system, developed by Lockheed Martin, adapts the Naval MK-41 vertical launch system for land-based operations. The Typhon battery, which consists of four launchers, a command center, and associated logistical vehicles, is a key element of the U.S. Army's multi-domain task forces. These task forces were established to address the diverse threats posed by global powers such as Russia and China. The Typhon system, deployed near Taiwan for military drills, has a range that allows it to cover not only the entire Luzon Strait, but also reach the Chinese coast and key people's Liberation Army bases in the South China Sea. This deployment aims to enhance the Philippines' maritime defense capabilities while strengthening interoperability and readiness within the U.S.-Philippine alliance. In addition to the U.S. deployment, the Philippines has made significant strides in modernizing its own defense capabilities. The Department of National Defense signed a $6.8 billion deal with Israel's Ministry of Defense and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems in 2019 to acquire three batteries of the Spider Air Defense Missile System. The first two missile batteries arrived in September 2023, with the third expected to be delivered by the end of the year. The Spider system is designed to protect critical installations, land-based fixed assets, mobile platforms, and friendly forces from a range of aerial threats, including combat aircraft, attack helicopters, drones, incoming missiles, guided munitions, and rockets. As a low-level quick-reaction surface-to-air missile system, Spider provides air defense for fixed assets and offers point and area defense for mobile forces in combat zones. The Spider launcher is capable of firing Python 5 and Darby surface-to-air missiles, which share full compatibility with their air-to-air -air counterparts. The system is equipped with advanced radar technologies, including the Elta ELM-284 multi-mission radar and the ELM-2168 advanced tactical radar, which provide comprehensive air surveillance and target acquisition capabilities. The deployment of these advanced missile systems, both by the U.S. and the Philippines, represents a significant enhancement of regional defense capabilities. It underscores the strategic importance of the Philippines in maintaining stability in the Indo-Pacific region particularly in light of increasing tensions in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. These developments not only bolster the Philippines' ability to defend its territory, but also strengthen the broader security framework in collaboration with international allies. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.